Wait, were you under the impression that I needed you? That I needed you as a part of my life to be happy? That I wanted you around? <laughs> you really thought that I wanted you in my life because guess what? You're right. And now that you're in my life, you can't leave. You're stuck with me forever. <laughs> so don't you dare try and run away from me. You get over here and you stay. Okay, so this is really dumb, but you know the whole thing where it's just like, just shut up and kiss me. What if like the other person didn't shut up? Yeah, so anyways, I was just doing this. Just shut up and kiss me. Yes, I'm making out with my hand because there's no one to make out with me. <laughs> Ooh, kill it. I'm lonely. Ooh, kill it. Yeah, yes. Okay, so I know this probably isn't like a unique experience, but like, do you ever just get to the point where it's like, you just need to lay on the floor? Like, you're just so exhausted and tired that it's just like, this is better than everything else. You get that though, right? You're just like, this has been the longest day of my life. And you look at your bed, right? And it's perfectly fine, but that's just not it. So you lay down on the ground and you're just like, this is better. This is fine. Sometimes I'll bring stuffed animals to lay with me because I feel sad and alone. So then I'm just laying there with my boys and it's like, you had a bad day too? You want to talk about it? Yeah, me neither. Okay, so a lot of you are into some really weird stuff out there, right? But I have like a question. Okay, how am I supposed to talk to someone who has a thing for praise and degrading? Like, what am I supposed to say? Like, I can't compliment you, I can't insult you. What am I supposed to do? I feel like I just have to get creative with what I say now. So instead of being like, oh my God, you're so gross. Oh my God, yes, and you're oh my God shut up. Instead, I gotta say shit like, damn, your parents must be really disappointed in you. Wow, you filed your taxes really well. Pog champ. Is this how I have to speak from now on in fucking limericks? Make up your mind. What do you want? Do you want me to be mean or nice? True. But you're a switch, aren't you? So you can't. You know, it's really hard for me to have like relationships with like significant others and like, you know, people I'm interested in. You know why? Because on one hand, I want to be healthy. I want to be like, hey, yes, whatever you need, take all the time you need. Let's have that communication. I want to make sure you're getting what you need and I'm getting what I need. That's great, right? That's healthy. Great mindset. But on the other hand, I also want to be like, fuck, I love you. Where are you going? You trying to leave me? You can't leave me. You're stuck with me forever. I love you. Please love me back. I love you. And if you don't love me, I swear to God, I will cry. Give me all your attention. I swear to God. Oh no. I'm all alone. Without my girlfriend. I'm gonna cry. Raise your hand if you like powerful women. Now you may have noticed I raised my hand. That's because I'm a whore. I like women who threaten me. Because it's sexy. I like it when someone challenges me to stay alive. You want to get on top? You got to fight me for it. Yes, mommy, crush my head between your thighs. Just know I will be tickling you to try and escape. I'm all about equal opportunity, all right? You're into knives? Let's use knives. Just know that we're each going to get one, all right? Funny, but not funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Funny, you accidentally turned me on, and now we got to do something about it. Funny, but not funny. Ha ha. Funny. If you do that again, I'll stick my fingers in your mouth. Okay, I don't know anyone else who can do this, but can y'all like do the thing with like your lower eyelid? You know, like this thing? You see what I did, right? Just... I don't know what to call that because what it does is it makes me look really creepy. Like I'm just having a conversation with someone, but the second I turn the eyes on, it looks malicious. Hey, listen, I just want to let you know that I love you and I appreciate you and I'm so happy you're a part of my life and I hope you never leave it. But the second I turn the eyes on, oh my God. Hey, I just want to let you know that I love you and I appreciate you and that I'm so glad you're a part of my life and I hope you never leave. Hello there, darling. 
been a while since I've done one of these. But before we start, I've got a question for you. Are you doing all right today? Because guess what? It's okay if you're not. Because I'm proud of you. You're doing so good, honey. I believe in you. It's fine if you're not doing good today. That's totally fine. I'm glad you made it. I'm proud of you. You made it through today. That's awesome. Now you just have to make it through tomorrow and the day after that. Because one day you won't just be making it. You won't just be existing. You'll be living. Because guess what? It's okay to not be okay. And regardless, I'm happy you're here and I'm proud of you. Love you, darling. Okay, so a lot of you don't know I'm moving right now. And in moving, you gotta pack up a lot of stuff, right? So I'm packing up like my entire kitchen, all my stuff, and I found something that I think would be perfect for you. Here, look. It's for you. Perfect. Hey everyone. So if you guys didn't know, I moved. New house, new drip, new shit. It's awesome, I'm so excited. But here's the thing. For the past two days, I spent these three fucking flies. They've been invading my personal space all over the fucking place. And I get there, there, there it is right fucking now. Where are you, you piece of shit? I will find you. Like I'm all excited about this new fucking house, but these flies. Fuck are you, I'll kill you. I fucking found one, don't fucking move, you piece of shit. Fuck. Listen, I don't know who needs to hear this, but the best way to see if someone likes you is to annoy them. Because listen, if they can't deal with you being annoying, how are they gonna deal with you on a daily basis? Call me a whore the way I fuck around and find out. But listen, if they can't match the energy, if they can't handle a brat, do you really want to spend that much time with them? Listen, they may be hot, but they're also boring. Do you really want that? Listen, we're a lot of things. Cringy, crazy, queer. But one thing is we aren't, is we're not boring. Go fuck around, find out, be a slut. Who knows? Mm. God, Ariel's black. She's black. She can't be black. She has to be. Really? She can't be black? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Because last time I fucking checked, she was also green and blue, right? She also had a best friend who was a crab that made absolute bangers. So stop being racist. Stop caring about what Ariel looks like. Because we need to start worrying about what Sebastian looks like. Is he going to be played by a real crustacean? Because if he's not, I swear. Yes, I'm a man, and yes, I wear perfume. Does that make me a whore, though? No. The fact that I want strong women to try and kill me does, though. I love it when a woman can challenge me to stay alive. Oh no, your lap is so bare and empty. Could you squish my head between your thighs? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the fact that you could beat the fuck out of me, but God, you're sexy. You know what I think is hilarious? I think it's hilarious how language can change depending on the people who use it. Like what I mean is like, you know, the society can change like the connotation of a word, right? Let's take for example, these two words. I can't say them because TikTok will take the audio down. Because when I first, you know, learned about those words, they were supposedly bad words. But the way I use them now, anything but bad. I mean like, yes, I'm a hmm. <laughs> what about it? You wanna hmm me out? Oh, do you? You gotta make me. Bro, I use these as terms of endearment. Like, that's my hmm over there. I love you. Mwah. Or like, you're my hmm. Awesome. Ah, King Julian, you're finally awake. Now that you're awake, King Julian, do you think you could help me find something? Something very important that I think everyone should be able to find, but I just seem to not be able to. So, King Julian, do you think you could find where the clitoris... I just love it when people are like, oh my god, Danny, let me fix you. Danny, I can fix you. Like, listen, unless you got a degree of some kind in psychoanalysis, you are not going to be fixing shit. And listen... Once I'm through with you, you're gonna be one of the people saying like, oh my God, I can fix them. They're wrong, you'll never recover from me. I am what you like to call a problem. Hey babe, I know this great spot, you wanna go? I got grippy socks for both of us, they're matching. Matching pajamas, oh my God. Listen, I don't care who you are. If you're strong enough, any room is a panic room. You ready for Mental Awareness Month? Because y'all finna be very aware of my mental illness. It can't be coincidence that everyone, you know, that's a little fruity likes, you know, spooky season. What is it about spooky season that makes us just drool and foam at the mouth? Is it because of, like, National Coming Out Day? Is that what this is? 
We're coming out of the closet together, just tiptoeing. Listen, because once spooky season is over, we're going back in the closet till June, bruh. You know what I love about neurodivergent people? We have like two personalities, right? When we're trying to make new friends, we have the first personality. It's respectable, it's kind, you know? We talk normally, we're not weird. We're not ourselves, that's the thing. But if the friendship works and the friend sticks around, three to six months later, the second personality comes out. And that's the real you. That's the real you coming out of that mash. Because that's the part of you that's like, oh yeah, I hate myself. This is when your friends get to meet the real you. They get to learn about all your hyperfixations, everything you're obsessed with. You didn't show them to this before because that's too much. You didn't want to scare them off. But now they've been here for long enough and they're stuck. They can't leave you. Don't leave me. You can't leave me. You're stuck forever now. Want to hear about all my magic cards? Do you? You're gonna have to now. <laughs> this friendship is no longer voluntary. You're stuck. Okay, no, stop. Don't do that. Don't see what you're doing here is you're asking me to talk about my hyperfixation. Something I spend hours, days even working on and talking about. Something that I am obsessed with and I cannot stop thinking about. If you didn't know, I play Magic the Gathering. It's a stupid card game that I put a stupid amount of time into. And you're asking me to talk about it. See, that's not good. Because here's the thing. If you ask someone with ADHD or that's neurodivergent to talk about their hyperfixation, that's it, you're done. You realize what you're doing, right? You have created a binding contract between me and you where you are not allowed to leave until I am done talking about my hyperfixation. And now you are obligated to listen to me whenever I want to talk about my hyperfixation. Because I care about you now, because you care about my interests! You did this to yourself! Now listen to me talk about magic, you fuck! Oh my god, intrusive thoughts are winning, cutting my hair, dyeing my hair, oh my god. Wrong. That's impulsive thoughts. Listen, I act on my impulsive thoughts all the time. I'm gonna put this in my mouth. I'm gonna put this in my mouth. A lot of things having to do with putting stuff in my mouth. But that's impulsive, not intrusive. Listen, if I acted on my intrusive thoughts, I'd either be dead or in prison. I wouldn't just be putting things in my mouth. I'd eat them. Hmm. What if I put you in my mouth? I wonder what you'd taste like. <laughs> No, 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 you hold up for one fucking second! So you're telling me here at this fine establishment, Starbucks, an international coffee chain, you're telling me that we've been deceived? <laughs> that we've been lied to? So you're telling me that it's all been a lie, huh? It's all been a lie. Every October, a deception! Right? So, you're gonna tell me the truth! FOR WHAT IN YOUR LIFE?! Is it true? That a pumpkin never creamed in my cold brew?! POV, I'm recreating the Mickey Mouse Sarangheo audio, but it's Donald Duck instead of Minnie. SARANGHEY! SARANGHEO! SARANGHEO ME BACK. You know what I hate about being like kind of sick, but not like full sick, is that I sound so sexy, but I hate myself because I feel like shit, you know? Like, oh my God, bro, my voice. Oh my God. I feel so hot right now. And I mean, sexy wise and fever wise. It's not horrible, it's nothing terrible. I mean like, yes, be all over me. I'm sexy right now, but not too hard. Don't get too close. I don't wanna get you sick either. Oh, you want some tea with me? You wanna, wanna drink some tea with me? Let's go get some tea, hmm? Tea date, that sounds cute, right? But don't have any of my tea because, um, you can't be sexier than me. That's not fair, that's not fair. I guess there's like a consolation prize. Like, damn, you're sick. At least you get to sound sexy while doing it. Hey, they're beautiful, you wanna go? <laughs> That's what's happening. That's what it sounds like. Sometimes on the internet, I forget that when someone posts like an opinion or a take, they're not always trying to be sarcastic and funny. Like they actually believe what they're saying. Like I go to read like something on Twitter and I'm like, Haha, that's sarcastic, that's funny. And then they respond like, but I'm serious. You were? Like, that wasn't irony? Bro, I thought you were trying to be sarcastic, ironic. Like, I thought that shit was the funniest shit I ever saw. Huh? Some of y'all just bad takes. That's all I'm saying. Am I a hater? Absolutely. <laughs> Fuck you. Stay mad.
Okay, so we all know about like AI generated art, right? So I downloaded this app, right? So cool. And I was fucking around with it and I looked up sexy Waluigi. Y'all, I wasn't fucking ready. Like, I know we know about these kinds, like this sexy bastard, but y'all ain't ready for sexy medieval Waluigi. <laughs> this man. <laughs> What is he doing? What's he doing with that low-waisted belt? Come on, pop a titty for me, Waluigi. Wah. I just hate it when fucking people are like, Oh my god, bisexual people in straight relationships are bisexual! Uh oh really? Well, I'm looking around here. I don't see no bitches you got. Does that make you ace? No! Also, to all the ace people watching this, I know you got bitches. You just ain't fucking them. You do you, baby. I love you. And if I'm lying, then may the devil himself take me away. Y'all can stop tagging me in this. You know I'm fruity. I'm a little twisty. Call me a fruit loop. You got a hole? I'll use it. Okay, so everyone, don't ruin this moment for me, but I got some phlegm in my throat and I sound like Geralt from The Witcher. Just listen. Fuck. Yennefer, I ask you, shut up. I'm Henry Cavill and I'm sexy. I'm The Witcher. And I'm cool as fuck. Fuck. I say fuck a lot. Because I fuck. Ugh. Fuck. I'm gonna drink my potion. Fuck. Guys, I figured something out. Okay, so I have ADHD. And I feel like it's very hard to convey my emotions and how I feel through text messages. So very often, in order to convey some sort of feeling or, you know, trying to, you know, explain that I'm not, like, you know, being serious, I will put in lol and lmao. But I figured out what it means in an actual, like, contextual sense. It's a nervous laugh. You know, it's just like, hey, don't know if you've seen this. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be like, have you seen this? No, I don't want to be rude. I just, I need to know. Have you seen this text? Please answer me. But that's why the Lamau is there. It's to convey that, hey, I don't want to be too pushy, but 